Now we've walked you through the story of the Blue Mesa Reservoir Bridge from when it first shut down to alternative routes and the local businesses opinions. Our Timber Schumann now brings us two big updates from CDOT as well as community reactions. April 18th, the US 50 middle bridge between Montrose and Gunnison is abruptly closed to all traffic after workers found a concerning crack in the steel. Dirt roads such as Kebler Pass and County Road 26 became the main alternative routes while crews repaired not just the middle bridge but the Lake Fork Bridge only a mile or so away. As the bridge started to open to traffic, trucks, trailers and semis were still not allowed to cross until now. The bridge is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week with the pilot operations. CDOT Communications lead Stacia Sellers tells me from October 16th on, not only will the bridge be open at all times, but commercial vehicles will be allowed on the bridge. So we are going to be allowing each direction to cross the bridge, but it's only going to be open for one lane. There is an absolute impact from the closure. We have been tracking our numbers and we had a 21% decrease in visitors. Montrose Mayor Pro Tem Dave Frank tells me luckily their economy is diverse enough to not only rely on the summer tourist traffic. Outdoor recreation businesses, we have manufacturing businesses. Have you noticed any impact by the bridge? Um, in the beginning, yes. Holiday gift store employee Teddy Withy says overall, people still seem to find their way to her store. I'm glad it's open. We needed it open. Has it decreased our business a little bit? Maybe a little, but not much. We opened this building a year ago. Next on virtual owner Sean Carroll agrees with Withy. Business isn't as bad as what others seem to experience. I think people are coming here as a destination and they'll figure out a way around the inconvenience. Definitely felt that uh, any influence we were getting from the West was definitely affected by the bridge. Over on the Gunnison side, Double Shot Cyclery owner Dan Crean is excited to finally get access to regular deliveries of supplies, but it may be too late. It's a win having the bridge open, but uh, you know, uh, we missed out on the summer, basically. From the business standpoint, less people in the door. RV traffic is a noticeable impact on Gunnison. Bluebird Real Estate Broker Associate Brian Cooper tells me his best business comes from the tourists traveling through in vans and RVs, both vehicles that were not let through previously. And just to give you an idea of time, I waited about 20 minutes at the first bridge, the Lake Fork Bridge, and then the middle bridge, which you can see behind me here, I only waited about five minutes. I just happened to catch it just right. That's going to be a huge relief for the communities in that area. Timber Schumann, Carry X. Thank you, Timber. CDOT tells us they hope to be completely finished with construction on the two bridges before winter hits. In other news, spooky season 